Hey everybody, welcome back to Mission Control for another feature focus video. In this video, we're going to talk about fixture overlap and playbacks. Fixture overlap can be used in queues, chases, and queue lists, the same as with firing of pallets. See a link video in the description for that. This can allow you to make more complex queues with an easy change of settings. You can also change the fixture order for that particular playback without modifying the group used to make the queue, if a group was used. If we have percentage and fixture order can be changed in the playback view. Overlap percentage, 100% means the fixtures will all do the same thing at the same time. 50% means the first fixture in the order will complete 50% of its fade before the next starts. 0% means the first fixture in the order will complete all of its fade before the next one starts. Fixture can be changed on a per queue basis in queue lists and chases. Click on the queue you want to modify on the soft keys to find the fixture order. Click on the queue you want to modify, and then on the soft keys, find fixture order. You must give a queue a fade time, or have a crossfade on a chase, to see the overlap. So let's take a look at that. So here I am on version 15 on the Titan Go interface. So we'll go ahead and make yourself some uh, a quick queue here. So go ahead and we'll select our beam 150s, and we'll give them a locate, and we'll give them a color, and we'll use our zoom here and this palette, and we'll hit record and just save it here. So we hit clear and see if we bring it up. Everything does everything at the same time. We have to open our playback view. And then see here, we can set our fixture overlap. We can set it to, well, let's say we'll set it to 50. And we'll set our fade in time to two seconds. Now if we close it, when we fire this queue, we can see that it fades across our lights like that. Let's say we didn't like that particular fixture order, so we wanted to change it. So you can just simply bring over a key view again, click on here, then find our fixture order and our soft keys, and switch to our black wall fixtures, and we'll see we'll do one there, and one here, two here, two here, and we'll do three on all of these, and then we'll exit out, and close it, and turn it off and turn it back on. See, now it follows that fixture order. If we put a fade out time on it also, it'll fade out the same way. I have to refire it for that to fake effect and see that it works. We can also do it with a chase, so we'll go ahead and we'll select our DMFLs and we'll give them a locate. And we'll give them a position, we'll give them a color, and we'll throw a gobo in there for fun. And we'll go ahead and hit record twice, and select an empty fader. We'll make this our first step. Then we'll change our position, change our gobo, we'll change our color. And do that again. And one more time. Oh, let's go with, we'll go with no color on this one. Then we can clear it out. Let me see our chase run. So we may have the key view again. Let me set our fixture overlap. So again, we'll do it at 50. And then we'll set our fixture order individually for each of the queues. So going this one, we'll do these all as one, these all as two, these all as three. And we'll exit that on this queue. We'll do them all as one here. two here, three here. And again, we can just close it, just like this one. And we'll do it again. Do this one, one's here again, two here again, three here again. And close it. 
our last one. Do it again as ones, twos, and threes. So now, and we fire our chase. Makes for an interesting, quickly changed look. We can also, of course, do it in a cue list. So we're going to hit record three times. Select an empty fader. Now this one will use our spiders. And we will locate. And we'll give them a position and a color. And I like that white being in there. And we'll make this our first cue. Then we'll change the color. We'll change the position. And we'll append the cue. We'll change the color again. And we'll change the position. And we'll append the cue. And then for the last one, a bit of tilt. And we'll change the color and append our cue. So we can see here if we fire our cue list. That's what we get. So we go ahead and make our cue list view up. We'll give everything a fade in of two seconds. And we'll set our fixture overlap. We'll do this as random. We'll do this one at 25. Do this one at 50, do this one at 40, and this one at 75, and then we'll set their fixture orders. This first queue, we'll do it, and we'll do it all as one and one, two, two, three. Three, and we'll exit that, and then on this queue, we'll do it as ones and two, this one we'll do as one, Two and two, threes. And for our last one, we'll do it with auto increment on and just go like this. Oops. We did our one twice. There we are. So we'll exit out of that. And this last one has got such a such of them, we're gonna get a set of a five second fade instead of a two second fade. So that's so many fixtures in the order. So we're going to release this cue list just cause. And now we'll fire it. So that is using Feature Overlap in Playbacks. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at AvalHUS. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Wheel stop. Roger, wheel stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.